Hello and welcome back to another tutorial on the MotorPress YouTube channel. My name is Valerie and today we're introducing a new update to the appointment booking plugin. With the new 1.23 version, you now have the flexibility to use any payment gateway available through Stripe for online reservations and gone are the days of limited options. Now you can utilize a wide range of region-specific gateways unlocking payment possibilities in China, India, Japan, and beyond. From digital wallets to bank transfers, your customers will have more ways to pay than ever before, all without any extra fees. One more important change is that the managing of preferred payment methods now requires direct handling within your Stripe account using your configuration ID. So stay tuned to learn how this update can revolutionize your appointment booking process. If you used Stripe with appointment booking before, you probably have a few boxes ticked for the methods you're already using. In the latest plugin version, you can notice a new field that says Payment Method Configuration ID. Adding this ID helps you connect Stripe to the appointment booking plugin. So, to use additional Stripe appointment methods on your checkout, you'll need to access your Stripe account to obtain your Payment Method Configuration ID. Also, this is the place where you're going to manage your payment methods. So, step number one. Log into your Stripe account, stripe.com slash settings, and go to payments, payment methods. Here we see the list of all methods available. The methods available depend on the country chosen in your Stripe settings. What we have to do is click on the three dots icon here and select Create a configuration. After clicking this option, a pop-up window with instructions will appear. Read the instructions carefully and name your configuration. Next, hit the button that says Save Configuration. To continue, you must confirm your password and wait a little. Great! There you have it! Hover over this little icon to copy it. Now, from your Sites dashboard, go to Appointments, Settings, Payments tab, Manage Stripe, insert the ID into the designated field, Within the Appointment Booking Plugin settings, tick the box that says Manage all payment methods through Stripe using your configuration ID and save the changes. If you are enabling it for the first time, make sure that you've added all other required tokens in the Stripe settings. Uh, I mean public key, secret key, and webhook secret key. After saving changes, you can go to your Stripe account to manage preferred payment methods. By scrolling, you'll see all of them. Cards are active by default, so we can start with wallets. To learn more about each method, click on the right arrow sign and the drop-down that opens will show you some essential info, for example, if this method has a refund or dispute support. Special attention must be paid to the supported 
currencies. Some methods will ask you to agree to the terms of use, so it's better to read the addendum first before activating. Activating takes a couple of seconds and mostly all you have to do is click the turn on button. For some methods, you can even create some custom rules. If you change your mind and want to deactivate the method, click the Turn Off button, leave feedback, and submit it. So, after activating all the wallets, we proceed to the bank redirects. But again, I would like to point out this important aspect that you should ensure that the currency selected in the plugin matches the supported currencies of your enabled Stripe payment method. For instance, if you have enabled a payment method that exclusively supports euros, but your plugin settings are configured for USD, that particular method won't be displayed. This is exactly my case. The currency on my site is USD, so I'll skip these methods. Payment methods by now, pay later will allow your customers to pay in installments, and this method can bring in more customers and boost sales. On top of that, Businesses get paid upfront, so uh, they don't have to worry about customers not paying on time. And if you're interested in activating bank debits, uh, you'll encounter a pop-up with a notification reminding you about webhooks, so please keep this in mind. As for me, I think that's enough activating. And now let's roll up our sleeves and get down to business. Let's make an appointment. In my case, I'm going to rent out a yacht or a boat. Today I'm using a Laurenti theme, which is an excellent tool for creating an equipment rental business website. At checkout, we see all payment options we've activated, including WeChat Pay. After hitting the reserve button, a customer will be offered to scan with widget pay. In the test environment, I have to simulate a scan and then authorize test payment. And when we return to our site, we see that the payment has succeeded and I've successfully made a booking. Great! Now let's make a new reservation to test out one more payment method. This time, let it be Klarna. A very popular payment method nowadays. Choose how you want to pay. A few more steps, and you're done. Now I suggest revisiting my Stripe account to make sure that payments have been made successfully. Here we see them. And now back to the dashboard where we can see these two bookings first in the admin calendar and then in the bookings list. And of course, navigate to payments to confirm the information there. 
Currently, you can choose between managing all methods directly in Stripe using the payment configuration ID or manually selecting Stripe methods in the plugin settings. We strongly recommend opting for the payment configuration ID method and manage all your payment methods associated with Stripe directly within your Stripe account. Using the payment configuration ID not only puts all your payment management in one place, but also makes things smoother for your customers as they only see payment options that work for them. In the future, we are going to completely remove the previous method gradually, making it might be wiser to switch now. So, you might ask, what are the other benefits of moving your payment management to the Stripe account? And the first one is faster checkout. When you use one Stripe account for payments, it makes the checkout process quicker. It shows only the payment options that work for your customers based on currency, restrictions, and location of your customers. And this helps to avoid mistakes and make sure your payment goes through smoothly. You have extra features. Stripe doesn't just handle payments. It comes with tools like extensions, for analytics, for keeping track of sales, or marketing. And this means you can do more than just process payments. You can understand your business better and reach more people. And finally, managing payments within Stripe will help serve more customers and offer easier checkout for international customers, for example, for virtual appointments. This means you can reach more customers and make it simpler for them to book an appointment with you. And there you have it. With these simple steps, you're equipped to take advantage of over 20 Stripe payment options seamlessly integrated into your appointment booking plugin and all for free. Now go ahead and enhance your customers' booking experience while streamlining your appointment management don't wait any longer. Unlock the full potential of your booking system today. To stay updated on more helpful tips, tutorials, and exciting features, don't forget to subscribe to the Motopros YouTube channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on valuable content that can take your website to the next level. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. By doing so, you'll receive instant alerts whenever we upload new videos. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for even more insights and community discussions. Let's stay connected and take your website to new heights together. Thanks for watching and happy booking!